guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited about today's video because it means new books on my bookshelf. <sighs> These are my favorite videos to do. They are my parents' least favorite videos that I do. And they are my wallet's least favorite videos that I do because I buy books and that means I need more bookshelves which means I take up more space. Uh, my parents are totally going to kick me out one day. <laughs> Anywho, last Friday I was beyond blessed to be able to go to Grand Rapids, Michigan to the Selfies and Signings, book signing uh, event that they did at Baker Bookhouse. And this was at the end of Fiction Reader Summit. They wrap it up with a huge book signing where it's free for everybody to come and you can bring your books and have them sign them or you can buy books there and have them sign them. <sighs> Baker Book House is everything. Literally like <laughs> my favorite place to go. So I was able to go quite early with a very good friend of mine and we just really spent the day shopping. So. I found um, a ton of books, obviously, but I restrained myself and got books that I have been needing or wanting. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to show you the books that I got, and yeah! I bought ten books, but I actually got one for an Instagram giveaway, so I'm only going to be talking about nine, but the first one is The Sea Before Us by Sarah Sundin, and this is book one in the Sunrise at Normandy series and I have book two and I actually read book two and really 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 liked it so when I found this one for a couple dollars I knew I had to have it so that I could read it so that I could be ready for book three when it comes out so. <laughs> next is pretty in Punxa Tawani I believe is how you say that please forgive me if I said it wrong but this is by Lori Boyle Crompton I read this last year sometime and I loved it so, so, so much, and I knew that I wanted a print copy, but I just haven't been able to get one, and I found this one on their Bargain Fiction shelf, and I got so, so excited because I got it for $8. I already want to reread this. I wish I'd had the money to get two so I could force my sister to read it with me, and we could do, like, a sister read-along, but I didn't, so I didn't, so I only have one copy, but... I'll still make her read it. Next book is actually from an author who is at the signing and I have a couple books by her but I knew that I wanted this specific book so I waited and went ahead and bought it at Baker Book House and then had her sign it while I was there. That is The Express Bride by Kimberly Woodhouse and this is the latest installment in the Daughters of the Mayflower series. This just released a couple months ago and it has got to be one of my all-time favorite covers from the series and I was really excited because it is about the Pony Express and that is a time period that I really really love and enjoy. The next one I have is A Stolen Heart by Amanda Cabot and this is book one in the Simmern Creek trilogy. I have book two and three. I'm actually in the middle of reading book three right now. So I wanted to have book one on my shelf and I found it in their used fiction area so I got it for a couple dollars and I'm really excited because now I have the complete series. Okay, so let's address this. I hate reading books out of order, but sometimes I have to. The next one I got was A Lady of Secret Devotion by Tracy Peterson and this is book three in the Ladies of Liberty series. Now I already had a copy of this previously, but it was a library copy so it had that horrible thing on the side and like all kinds of stamps all over it. So I really wanted to get a prettier copy for my shelf. So I did. The next one again was a book where the author was there at the event and I had the first three books in the series and I needed the fourth and final one and it just came out. So I went ahead and bought it while I was there and that is Vow of Justice by Lynette Eason. I read book one and I can't wait until I have some free time so I can read two, three, and four in a binge session. Super awesome thing that Baker Book to House does is they have a table of five dollar books. A girl could go crazy over there. I actually found a book that I have been needing for a while, just haven't been able to buy, and that was Just Let Go by Courtney Walsh. 
And this is book two in her Harbor Point series. Now I just need this one kiss and it might take me another year to get it. But I have book one and two to start me off. Next book I got was another book that I needed to finish off a series and the author was also there at the event. So I went ahead and just bought the book so that I could have the whole series signed. And that was Ever Faithful by Karen Burnett. This is the third book in her Vintage National Park series. However, they are standalones. I don't think they technically have any crossing over characters because it's a different national park each time, but it's in the same theme of books. I was blessed to get an arc of this from the publishing company, um, but now I have a finished copy. So technically, all these books I bought I needed on my shelf to like finish a series or something. So this was just another one that's been on my list for a while. <laughs> I can literally justify any purchase I make when it comes to books. Okay. I bought To Best the Boys by Mary Weber, and this is her newest release, and it sounds super intriguing. The cover is gorgeous, and I've heard nothing but amazing things about it, and I found it super cheap, so I see it. Why not? So I did. So these are the nine books that I bought while I was at Baker Book House. It is one of my absolute favorite places to go. And if you are ever, ever in Grand Rapids, Michigan, I highly suggest that you try to stop over and go. Um, it's a blessing to live a couple hours away, so I do get to go a couple times a year. Um, and there's nothing like being able to support a massive Christian fiction store, a massive Christian area. So I love it. As I said, I truly restrained myself because there were so many books that I could have purchased. Um, but I didn't, so pats on the back to me. If you guys would like to see another video about the Fiction Reader Summit book signing, I wasn't able to go to the actual retreat this year. Um, but if you guys would like to know about more about the signing, the authors that were there, uh, the books that I brought to get signed, that kind of thing, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely do a video about it. Or if you just want to talk about it, I am always free to chat. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments below one book that you would buy if you ever went to Baker Book House. Or which book in this stack sounded most intriguing to you. Those are my questions. <laughs> you can follow my blog for the love of Christian fiction .blogspot.com, and you can also check out my Instagram for the love of Christian fiction. All my other links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. I will see you guys later. Bye.